Hello, Becca here, and today my little tidbit, I'm coming to you about meal prepping. And I get people that are like, oh, meal prepping is just so overwhelming. And so I wanted to break it down and make it a little easier for you. So sometimes you want to start trying something healthy and you're gonna have like some cauliflower rice. So there's a couple ways to prep that. You can buy the bag of rice cauliflower, they have it in the fresh produce section, they have it in the freezer section, and you're good to go. You can also come home from the grocery store and take your cauliflower, you take like the big green stem out the end, and then you take your cauliflower and like dice it up. So if I'm ricing the cauliflower, I totally use the florets and the stem. If I'm mashing it, I don't use the stem. It changes that consistency. So you chop up your cauliflower, throw it in your food processor, and now it's rice. Throw it in a plastic bag, Tupperware container, however you are, and you put it in the fridge if you're gonna eat it in the next couple of days. If it's for later in the week, throw it in the freezer. You've now meal prepped. That is one less thing you have to do when you have dinner that night. My other, another way that I like to make meal prepping easy is to either do like a in the oven casserole or an in the instant pot crack pot meal for the week for breakfast and a meal for the week for lunch. Um, regular old oatmeal, egg casserole, really popular breakfast ones. Oh, lunch, we don't, lunch isn't like, this is a lunch food, this is a dinner food. We kind of just have dinner foods at lunchtime. So I might make buffalo chicken or a pork tenderloin and a jar of salsa in the crock pot. And that is our lunch for the whole week. And then you can eat it different ways. You can eat it with different vegetables. It changes it up a little bit. It's meal prepping. Um, and I've talked before about like, I used to buy like five chicken breasts or five pork chops and I'd put them in the oven on a baking sheet or on the grill and do different seasonings on each one of them. And then you buy a bag of like frozen vegetables, broccoli, mixed something, and you take your little container and you put your chicken breasts in here and your frozen veggies in here and you put them all in the fridge. It doesn't matter that those vegetables thaw because you're just gonna heat everything up. And when you heat everything up, whether you do it in a toaster oven or you do it in a microwave, I can tell you all the reasons why you shouldn't use a microwave, but I do it too. Um, and the amount of time it takes the chicken to reheat, your vegetables that were frozen are now mostly thawed and, and they're cooked too and you're good to go and it's a meal. Um, if you are buying like a big thing of cottage cheese, yogurt, applesauce, anything, you come home and you put it in little Tupperware containers for individual servings, it's meal prepping. Um, he used to back in the day buy frozen berries and I ate frozen berries and hard boiled eggs for breakfast every day. And I would scoop, I actually would buy the fresh berries when they were on sale too in the summer when they were nice and yummy. I would take a one cup measuring cup, I'd pour it in a baggie, throw it in the freezer with all my berries and then I'd have them in there. And I mean, depending on how many I bought it, it's kind of get like over a week out. And then I make my hard boiled eggs in the oven. I take my muffin tin, one egg in each little thing, 350 degrees, 20 minutes, your eggs are hard boiled. And that was my meal prepping. I'd have my eggs in the fridge and my fruit in the freezer and I'd grab it out in the morning and there was my breakfast. I'd eat it in the car on the go. But it was prepping, it was low key, it wasn't this big drawn out production. Um, the best way to eat vegetables is to have them washed and ready to go in the fridge. So you've got a couple of options. You can buy your carrots and you can um, peel them and slice them and you can take your celery stalks and you can dice them up. Or you just buy the pre-cut stuff, pay your little convenience fee because it's usually a little more expensive. Meal prep, good to go, you're ready. So you don't need to overcomplicate things and I think a lot of times we do. So if you have any questions about meal prepping or if you think that still sounds too hard and you want me to go over some other ideas, let me know. I would love to help you figure this out because the key to being healthy is to be prepared and to be on plan. So let me know how I can help you be more prepared. Have a great day.